welcome to another sample lesson from the Get Ready Guide for the Rogan Academy's admission test. Today we're talking about divisibility tests. And a lot of times on the test, on the Bergen Academy's test, you will need to perform a divisibility test, either as part of the word problem or part of the question that you have, where you need to know where, whether a certain number is divisible by another number or not. Or sometimes it's a standalone question, where the question asks you whether this large number is divisible by 3, or is divisible by 6, or is divisible by 7, for example. So let's take a look at some of the most famous divisibility tests. First of all, how do I determine if a number is divisible by 2? A whole number is divisible by 2 if the digit in its units, or its 1's position, is even. So in the 1's position, if you have a 0, or a 2, or a 4, or a 6, or an 8, then this is a number that is divisible by 2. So the number 24 is divisible by 2 because it ends in 4. The number 38 is divisible by 2 because it ends in 8. The number 60, for example, is divisible by 2 because it ends in 0. Divisibility by 3. To check if a number is divisible by 3, you have to add all of the digits of that number and then check whether that sum is divisible by 3. So for example, if we have a number like 33, and we want to find out whether 33 is divisible by 3 or not, we add the digits of 33. So 3 plus 3 equals 6. Now ask yourself, is the number 6 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. 3 times 2 equals 6. Therefore, the number 33 is divisible by 3. 3 times 11 equals 33. Now this will come in handy when you have very um, large numbers, and of course you cannot use a calculator on the test, as you all know. So if you take a look at this number, for example, 872,151 is divisible by 3. Why? Because if you add all the digits, 8 plus 7, 15, plus 2, 17, plus 1, 18, plus 5, 23, plus 1, 24, the sum of its digits is the number 24. Is 24 divisible by 3? Yes, because 8 times 3 equals 24. So therefore, this long number right here, 872151, is divisible by 3. Now let's take a look at divisibility by 4. A whole number is divisible by 4 if the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4. So we look at the last two digits only. If this number, the two-digit number at the end, is divisible by 4, then this whole number is divisible by 4. So let's take an example like here, 3,524. I just look at the last two, which is 2 and 4. Is the number 24 divisible by 4? Yes, it is. The number 24 is divisible by 4. 6 times 4 equals 24. Therefore, 3,524 is divisible by 4 as well. Let's take a look at another one right here. We have this very long number, 1,368,336. It is divisible by 4. Why? Because the last two digits form the number 36, and 36 is divisible by 4. 4 times 9 equals 36. Therefore, this long number, 1,368,336, is divisible by 4. Remember that the Bergen Academy's admission test is not an easy test. However, we need to learn the basics, the easy stuff, in order to be able to solve all of the questions correctly. Some of the questions on the test are very, very simple, and some are very difficult. In all cases, you need to know the basics. You need to know divisibility rules. You need to know how to find factors, how to find lowest common multiples, greatest common factors, how to um, uh, use long division, how to add and subtract fractions, how to add and subtract decimals, and so on. So some of the content in the book is easy, but basic, and some is difficult and geared towards a test. I wish you all the best of luck, and I would like to hear from you if you have any questions whatsoever regarding the Bergen Academy's admission test. Thank you.